hello, hello, and welcome to episode 51 of Prog Review. And if you've read the description, you'll already know I'm going to be talking about this album. This is a Bruford Levin Upper Extremities or Blue. Yeah. Um, what can I say about this one? 1998. Good, good year for records. Um, again, this is a kind of a bit of an offshoot from King Crimson from the from Bruford and Levin, who were with the band at the time before they before they kind of left. Um, and it's almost like a one of the projects, but not a project. Um, so let me talk about it. The album opens with a Cerulean Sea, which is probably the most King Crimson song ever recorded by a band comprising of King Crimson alumni, but isn't King Crimson. Oh, that was a rather convoluted sentence, wasn't it? I'm sure I could have done that easier, but I love it. It's full of choppy guitars and pulsing stick notes from Levin, and there's um, vocal drones from David Torn, I believe. Uh, the drums play off time, and it's you know full of lurching power. You know it wouldn't be a miss off of a King Crimson record. Um, this is followed by Original Sin. Again, the band kind of change gear. This is more more of a jazzy piece, um, and it utilizes the talents of Chris Botti on the trumpet. That's me doing a trumpet impression, and there's some great bass interplay between um, between. Uh, Levin and Torn with his Bawa guitar. They all kind of meld together. It's funny because the tra track itself was subsequently covered by Bruford's Earthworks band. So you can also, also hear like a straight jazz version of it if you, you hunt that down. Um, then things really hit their pace with Etude Revisited which it bor borrows a riff from a, a song called Etude in the Key of Guildford uh, from Levin's solo album World Diary, well worth checking that one out, and it runs with searing trumpet and bubbling guitars. I mean, the good thing about David Torn is he loves making his guitar not sound like a guitar. And I, what I like is the big resolution at the end. It's a real money shot, if you know what I mean. It's a, an ejaculation of musical magnitude, a real moment. Then the next song. It's got a bit of a long title. I'm going to read it. It's a palace of pearls, open parenthesis, on a blade of grass, close parenthesis. Um, this, again, it changes tone. It's more of a contemplative piece uh, with uh, the percussion and trumpet and musical ambiance, probably pro provided by Torn himself. And it's, it's more of like a come down from the energy of the preceding track. You know, it works well, it's nice. You know, you've got all the energy and then but bring you down. That's what I like about this album. It's, a, it's an album of ups and downs. It's like, a, you know, I like that. You know, it's not all at the same level. And then that's followed by Fin de Silk. Silk. Fin de Silk. Fin de Silk. Um, again, we're heading back into Crimson Territory. Uh, we've got more lurching time signatures. So that's me doing lurching. If you like that. Uh, but as a, a really interesting mid late piece um, where the trumpets are playing the melody. Do, 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 do. And whilst Bot is playing the trumpets, you hear Torn come in with this you know, choppy guitar chords, which sounds remarkably like Robert Fripp. It's almost like he's doing a pastiche of him. So I really like it. It makes me smile. Uh, it's good, good fun. Uh, then. We've got a really small piece called drum bass, and um, again, it's it's just Levin and Bruford doing their thing, and it wouldn't be a miss from the Towns from Widow Jane's Mine album. I don't know if you if you're familiar with that. That's an, that's an interesting one. I might do that in the future. But again, it's it's drum and bass on their own, and it's again, it's more about rhythm and atmosphere. Uh, and this is followed by Cracking the Midnight Glass, which begins with some upright bass solo from Levin um, before we go again lurch off into crimson proto jazz territory I like what's going on I mean it's not a bad track it just it needs editing down it's a 
it's, it, it starts to wander off. It meanders, you know, just and it gets a bit repetitive. But I reckon if they'd have edited back a bit, it would have been um, a lot more satisfying. And then we've got something called Torn Drum Bass, which is another atmospheric piece. Um, it features again drum, some piano percussion. I think Bruford's playing on on the insides of a piano. I think he, he mentions. Uh, and then there's some like kind of African drum drumming going on, and what sounds like a dobro guitar played like on the lap on the slide. It's a really nice piece. It's you know really atmospheric, and it's you know this it's like it's almost like a soundtrack to a film, like a western film or something. Um, but the problem is it's it's only short. It's only about a minute long. It's just a tiny little piece, and it's a real shame they never developed it further because I think it it had some musical legs. And then. Would you believe it? We're back to manic drumming and throbbing bass and more distorted guitars with cobalt canyons. There are lots of blues in this, you see. Got the blues. See what they've done? Clever, aren't they? Um, this one is more like a sprint. It's just dum 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 dum. It's really intense. Um, it, it, it's one of those songs that it propels you forward and it leaves you feeling breathless at the end. But then, we're back to gentler territory and again we've got more upright bass with uh, yeah which one track I've lost myself here deeper blue that's the one yeah sorry lost myself I had a brain fart <laughs> back to deeper blue which again it's a but it's on a downer again we've had that up so we're on we're on the slide we're heading down again you've got Levin with his lovely upright fretless bass doing his thing and some really plaintive trumpet from Chris Botti. Bruford is playing um, his drums with brushes and again Torn is doing guitar atmospherics and it's a really nice gentle piece. And then everything is rounded up with this track Presence Day. Now, the main hook played on the trumpet sounds like it's been lifted from a uh, Bruford Erfurt track, uh, maybe like Stromboli Kicks or something like that. And uh, for me, it's probably the least satisfying part of the album. I, I didn't like it. It, you know, I thought it went on a bit and it didn't really resolve itself too well, which is a bit of a shame. But, you know, that's just one criticism of it. I mean, again, I think some of the ideas on there are good. I think they could have been edited back a bit. Um, but I like it because you know it's Levin and Bruford doing, you know what Levin and Bruford do the best, and it's a real shame they never did a, a second album of in this configuration, especially now Bruford's retired. Who 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 retires from music? Seriously, the music's always with you, but hey, that's his decision. Um, and it's yeah, it's a shame they never did a second album. They did do a live record, which is quite good. Um, Again, it reprises a lot of the material on this album. It's worth checking out. But if you like King Crimson, you like the jazzier side of King Crimson. If you like Bruford's work, and if you if you want to hear like Bruford doing jazz but with a crimson edge and Levin in there and you know Torn. If you've heard Cloud About Mercury, that's another good record to check out. Uh, that's more Torn's album. Um, yeah, it's really it's a, it's a it's a really good, interesting record. It all you know. I'm not one. I'm not a jazzer, uh, but this kind of makes me feel like I am. <laughs> so I'm going to give it a rating now. I'm going to give this five cobalts at five. Did I say five? Maybe that's a bit generous because President's Day kind of lets it down, and the other track needs needs to be edited. No, scrub that. I'm going to give it four cobalts out of five. That's what I'm going to do. Because I think I was a bit generous there. Because it's not it's not as complete a record as it could be. You know, it could have been slightly tighter. Maybe the running order could have been jiggered. So that's it. My name's been Darren Ock. I have been babbling on about Bruford Levin Upper Extremities, or Blue. I think it's still widely available if you want to go out there and buy yourself a copy. By all means, check it out. And you have been a patient audience for making it to the end. Ten minutes of listening to me burble on. Probably more than that once I've edited it. <laughs> Up, down, wiggle it around, 
show it to your granny, but don't let the dog see it, because he might bite it off. And uh, we'll do this again real soon. Prog on.